Well, hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to make a quick video. Uh, I was uh, thinking to a way of actually testing the UV protection of certain glasses uh, and whatnot. I recently purchased these glasses. Those are uh, Ray-Bans Wayfarers wannabe. Of course, they're not authentic. I purchased another pair of these ones, but uh, th those ones were authentic. And I saw these uh, being sold. And I thought, hey, let's give it a try. If it protects my eyes, let's give it a shot. I don't care whether they ray bands or not. I just like the shape of them. And I thought they will protect my eye with the UV protection they claim to have 100% though. So um, I stumbled across a couple of devices over at eBay. Uh, one of them was $446, which I thought it was a little bit too much for the use that I was going to give to that uh, photometer to test the UV light. So what I came up with is uh, this, this is my, my passport, just a regular passport. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using this light right here, which is just a regular UV light to test the, the bills and the authenticity of black light, uh, black light sensitive ink. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. When I put the passport, I'm going to put it in a random page like this, and I put it near the UV light, you will be able to see that. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna pick it up, so I'm gonna pause the video for a little bit, turn off the the light on the video camera, and turn the light on the on the room. Okay, so now we are back. As you can see, if I put the passport near to this light, you can see this eagle glowing in here, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab sunglasses first of all the wannabes I'm gonna put it right next to the passport and as you can see it's not keeping it from glow at all it is it still glowing just as much let me show you another page where you can see a little bit more glowing stuff I got a visa from another country here okay You can see in there, this one is really clear. When I put the glasses in there, nothing. Keeps glowing like nothing is covering it. After that, I'm going to test these cheap glasses over here. These are, uh, I believe my sister bought them from H&M, which is a clothes brand, very, very cheap. Uh, she paid like five bucks for them or something like that. They do claim to be 100% UV protection as well. So let's give it a try. You can see in there the logo is glowing. Let's put the glass in there and boom, it disappears. Five dollar glasses. They do the trick. Now let's try the authentic ray bands. I pay um I believe it was $299 plus taxes for them. So let's see how they work. Awesome job. They're covering the light. You can see some shining because of the light that is uh, pouring from the sides of the logo, but you can see they're doing a good job blocking this. Now I'm gonna test these glasses are Polaroid, which they're probably the best lenses you can get. Not the frame, but the lenses itself. It's a lot better quality than the Ray-Bans, the actual Ray-Bans, so let's give it a shot. Look at this, completely blacked out totally blacked out when it passes through the, the the light passes through the through the lens it's completely blacked out so there you go guys it's a simple easy and do it yourself way to test the UV percentage rating of each glasses I'm gonna turn back the light back on and I'm gonna show you the type of glasses that I used So now let's take a look at the lenses that I tried. The first one that didn't work for anything were this cheap pair of knockoffs. It didn't work, as you saw. Second set of glasses were these cheap ones, five bucks, but they did the trick. UV protection, they worked. The third pair that I tried were these Ray-Bans, authentic Ray-Bans. They work very well. Well, this is the least you can expect for a $300 pair of sunglasses. And these ones were the better, uh, the ones with the better lens. 
These are Polaroid and I pay, I believe, 60 bucks for them. But I'm pretty happy with them uh, so far. Uh, the polarization on these ones is just amazing. It reduces the glare probably to zero. So amazing glasses for the price. It's probably the best you can get. And in fact, the lens in here is a lot. I already said this, but it's a lot higher, uh, a lot higher quality than the ones on the Ray Bans. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you.